Hey, this is Dean Soto with the Online Empire Academy, and uh, this is the uh, tutorial on the extensive all option on Reverse ASIN. Uh, so there, we're, I've been doing a series of tutorials on Keyword Inspector, and I wanted to do these because there's just there's a ton of data that you can get with Keyword Inspector. We're, so we're starting with Reverse ASIN, and then we're going to be going to Kipert and uh, Keyword Trends uh, very soon. So uh, as as these come out, you'll uh, see that we have just a ton of different tutorials. This is what I use in my business. I love it. Uh, I love Keyword Inspector. All of their tools are great. And so uh, we're going to talk about extensive all. Um, and then at the end of this video, I will give you a resource where you can actually learn how to make money with Keyword Inspector, how to actually use this in your business, whether it's with sponsored products or uh, optimizing your listings and things like that, or spying on your competition and all those awesome things. Uh, I'm going to put that toward the end. This is much more of a how-to, kind of very boring, <laughs> kind of very boring, uh, what is the data type thing. And then uh, if you really want to use, learn how to use this in your business, you can go to that training resource, which we'll have at the very end of this very short video. Okay. So in the last training uh, that I did, I went over the reverse ASIN, uh, the extensive and all of the data that you have in the extensive. So if you have never ran a reverse ASIN search whatsoever, go to that video. Uh, if you just search, uh, it, either on YouTube, search for uh, Keyword Inspector Tutorial Extensive, it'll probably come up, or uh, I'll be putting these in a playlist and you can go through all the entire playlist, okay? So if you haven't ran it, uh, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the demo that we we're using. There we go. Couldn't get it out. Uh, gonna be do, using the demo that we we're using, uh, demo product and uh, it would be for extensive. So when you see extensive in reverse ASIN, you're gonna see this option right here, extensive all, and it's gonna tell you all these awesome things that it does. My gosh, it's so cool, okay? Um, the, yeah, um, what I'm, what, uh, what, what, uh, let me just get into it, okay? It's very interesting, it's very new. Um, and I'll kind of give you my take on it and uh, what, what the data is. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so let me go uh, to my search history. So if I go to reverse ASIN over here and then search history and we do completed, you'll see the original extensive that we did, this Camelback Eddy water bottle right there. That's the extensive. But then we'll see this extensive all. I'm going to actually open them both up right now. Okay. Now, so the first things first, you're going to notice uh, in the extensive, we went through all of these different right here, all the different columns that are in extensive. Okay. And you'll notice the very first thing that with extensive, you get 30 days of utilizing the search. And then here you get six days of utilizing the search. Now, remember, this is six days and just about every day, every maybe every two days, it's actually refreshing. Okay. All right. Um, and you'll have to, uh, so after six days, you'll, you'll, you, so even though this says, you know, it's going to expire in six days, every time you click into here, pretty much every other day, it's going to be different data as, as keyword inspectors going through and finding all that stuff. Okay. So that's the very first thing is knowing that you only have six or basically seven days to use it. Okay. All right. Next thing is, uh, so this is the extensive all. And you can tell if you're in extensive all up here, it'll say extensive all in the URL, extensive search type, extensive all. <clears throat> and what you can do here is you're going to see it, it looks generally the same as extensive, right? So if we go to extensive, it looks very, very, very similar. All right. And look at this. Um, the last time we did extensive, it did, we didn't see any of these graphs, so it actually went out and got the graphs for all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, let's see if it got all the AMS stuff real quick. I don't see. Uh, it just has a bunch of yeses. Anyway, all right. So sorry, that side note. <clears throat> all right, so here we go. In extensive, let's look at the difference real quick. All right, let's go through the, the, the columns in extensive and then we'll kind of know that notice the difference. 
So right away, uh, we I see one big difference, and it's in this keyword area. Okay, so remember we have our best keyword rank extensive. I just completely ignore this because this this best keyword rank is really just going off of this estimated search volume. So don't think that just because this is ranked number one, two, three, etc., that you know you need to. This is number one. You need to put that keyword in your listing. It doesn't work that way. Okay, it's not that way. It, and you have to use your head. Okay, when it comes to this. But right away under this keyword, because this is the keyword that it's that it's targeting, we notice something a little different. Okay, if I go back to extensive, it says that the keyword that it finds first is this one liter water bottle plastic. Okay, so why the difference? Why this Camelback uh, Big Bite valve compared to this? Well, it's because this extensive all is going back longer. It's going back much, much farther. Okay, much, much farther in in um, uh, in its search. All right, and sometimes it makes it a little bit less relevant. Sometimes it makes it relevant. Okay, but it's going much farther in its search back. Like any time, any basically, it's giving you all the keywords that it is ever ranked for in any at any time whatsoever okay from what i understand at least all right so that can be a very good thing it might be a very bad thing depending on what you're targeting okay especially if it's like a trend or something <clears throat> so so that's that um so next we still see we have the same estimated current search volume per month so as of today the search volume per month looks like it's going to be around 73,000 for this particular keyword this can be much lower it can be much higher remember this is all just an estimation nobody knows no tool out there knows for sure how much searches things are getting it's all through just a, a an algorithm that keyword inspector uses um, but nobody knows because because uh, Amazon does not share that data okay ASIN keyword position at time of search now we'll notice here the difference between extensive and extensive all right here it says NA 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 because it does not actually have that data um, anymore or it didn't in, in uh, uh, back in the time when it when it actually ranked okay um, so go, go here we see a lot more of that data so and remember this column right here means that <clears throat> so like for two one liter water bottle uh, a plastic water bottle if I were to go to Amazon let's go to Amazon one liter water bottle plastic this is the camelback that we're using in this uh, particular thing. In fact, it's this one right here, the blue one. Uh, actually, I think it's this one. This is the blue one that we're using in this particular uh, demo, okay? But it's going because it's still the parent, whatever. Um, so so it's go. It, it, when I go and I search one liter water bottle, remember when I got, got here, it shows that it's number two there. Right, so if in extensive, boom, it's number two, right? In extensive all, the very first thing here, it has an NA because it just didn't have it at the, at the time of search. It didn't have it whenever it found this a long, long, long time ago, okay? Um, common misspellings, it will find some common misspellings if it, if it can, not always gonna be there. Now, number of products found to have, have the exact phrase in its titer, title in our, beta, uh, in our databases, it'll try its best. You can click that just like an extensive and it'll try and find whatever it can, okay? Um, so like right here, the cool thing about this, uh, the keyword phrase, so it's looking for the exact keyword phrase in its title. So this one liter water bottle plastic, um, if I go up here, and I do maybe in quotes, we'll see how many actually come up. It's actually six results. One uh, will have, but it doesn't have it in the title. This has it means that it has it somewhere in the listing, but we don't even see it in the title anywhere, which is, which is the most important thing, which tells me that people are not ranking, you know, they're not trying to rank for that particular uh, uh, thing, which that could be an advantage, but I talk about that in more in the, the resource stuff later. Um, number of search results found in Amazon, that is the broad match, um, based off of that keyword. Okay. 
Google monthly keyword volume. This is based off of data because remember, Google doesn't give you this data anymore. They used to. Um, uh, through their API, they don't. But this is based off of older data that Keyword Inspector had. And um, so you just kind of use it as, at your own risk or whatever. But it, it is a good indicator of whether something is doing well, good to do well or not. Then you have the new listing graph, just like an extension. Uh, sorry, an ex the normal extensive. You can do, you click here, you'll get pinged for 12 credits, but it'll, it'll go and try and make graphs for you over time. Um, it takes a while for it to happen, and they'll all pop up eventually. Ads found on first page of search. Okay, so this is different. Remember, we don't have that in in uh, extensive. Okay, the regular extensive. So here, we if it's if, are there any ads found on first page of search? That's very 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 important, right? Because if there isn't, that means no one is really going after those terms for for the most part. So like some some, but sometimes you're going to see that they're not even they're not even really like. <laughs> worth it. So like to work, to build your, you don't want that to be your, um, that's not a good keyword to go for, even though it says it has a lot of traffic. Okay. Um, but let's see if we go like right here, straw camelback, Eddie, no, no ads for this. You know, you can do ads because it just kind of gives you an, uh, an indicator that nobody is going after those for sponsored uh, products, uh, doing any type of sponsored products, so you can get low cost per clicks, etc. Okay, blue sports water bottles, no ads, no ads for bottle water, bottle water small one, and then this one liter water pack. That's like those those aren't finding ads on the first page, which generally mean people aren't going after uh, those particular keywords in sponsored products. I personally think that's it's pretty cool little tool. Is it worth the 15 credits? Maybe, maybe not, depending on how many credits you get per month. <laughs> <clears throat> misspellings. Uh, you get a lot more misspellings. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll say this for example. Common misspellings right here. And then there's this misspellings row by row, okay? So liter plastic water bottle. So I think what this means is, um, I think what this means, this row by row, is is basically it's it's not associated with this row right here or any of these rows. It's like so where it says common misspellings, it's going to be associated with this actual keyword. Misspellings right here, where it says row by row, <clears throat> is just it's just throwing stuff as as soon as it finds it into here, okay. Um, but um, but these are just common misspellings in general, okay. Then right here, search instead for redirects to AMS advertising and get data. So this is this you know I, this does not work well, at least from what I've seen so far. Um, it takes a while to do, and all I have ever seen it give is like a yes or no, at least at this point in time. And basically what this does is it tries to see if there's any AMS advertising for these keywords, okay? Um, right now they're showing nothing, okay? Uh, same thing with here. You'll see it adds a little bit more columns over here. So I, I personally I don't know because I don't use it in my business what that means, but um, uh all I've seen is yes or no's will pop up eventually, but uh, I'll try and come back when I when I see what it actually does. Then word rank and individual words, just like an extensive, this what this means is it's going based off of this original keyword and just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Okay, so if I go over here, you'll notice. They are the same thing. One, two, three. They're the same word that uh, in their respective number. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just it literally is just going. And what it's saying is that if you really want to rank this product and optimize your listing, you want to have at least these words from top to bottom in there, depending on what you want. And does that work? I don't know. It's not really. Oh, cool. Battlefield Four is ready to play. Um, 
uh, I I don't know. I mean, I I think depending on what keywords you're going to use, it, it's going to work. But I've never really used that. But that's generally what uh, what extensive all does, at least for now. Okay. Um, thing that I like most about it is are the ads found on the first page. That saves me a lot of time. Um, you'll know why I do uh, do that when you look at the uh, free resource training um, for this and for Trends Tool, etc. I use that a lot for sponsored ads, knowing that if I know that nobody's going after that, I can very easily start ranking a product. Um, but uh, but generally, that's it for Extensive All. I'm going to be doing some more uh, training on all of the other uh, parts of Reverse ASIN as well as the other tools. Uh, so if you like that uh, and you want to know a little bit more, that uh, I will just go ahead and check out those other ones. So if you want to learn how to use this in your business, how to use this to run sponsored ads, how to use this to spy on your competitors, things like that, uh, go to www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse and you'll see how I use this to actually make money with my business. So it's www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse and you'll see how I use it to spy on my competitors, how I can tell if, if people are doing sponsored ads, how you can u utilize it to optimize your listing, things like that. It's a very, very short training, but it gives you a very, very powerful way to use reverse ASIN to to really make your Amazon business soar. So once again, www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse. All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And this is Dean Soto with the Online Empire Academy. We'll talk soon.